A very good morning to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And those who are listening to this on Instagram, you can go in the link down below in the description, and you can go and check out diet. You can check out yoga asans, sitting on the chair and doing flexibility asans for your flexibility, and sleep patterns, relationships, and much, much, much more. Even parenting is there. So have a look at that link, and if you like it, do share it with others. Now let's go ahead with. 215th day of our God blessing. What does Baba have to say in today's God blessing? Let's have a look. Baba says, May you become a master Trikal Darshi. Trikal Darshi means knowing the three aspects of time knowing your past life, knowing what you have to do in the present, and knowing what's going to come in the future. So that is Trikal Darshi, the three aspects. So Darshi means have a look at all those aspects and then decide what you have to do and how you want to be. And sit on the seat of a detached observer. It's like you're sitting right along with God the Father who's sitting on top and observing the whole play which is going on on earth. Even noticing your own play like a detached observer, like an alter ego. And finish the word distress. Let's get into the details. Whatever happens in the drama is filled with benefit. This whole world drama, not just your drama, my drama, this whole world drama is leading to something. And a lot of things are going to happen in this drama which are going to lead us towards liberation from a lot of weaknesses within us, actually in us. A lot of people will get rid of their weaknesses. <coughs> now, this drama is created in such a manner, just like nature also likes to come back to its own state. Nothing remains hot for a long time. Even your pan, if you heat it up, it won't always be in a state of hot, right? It's going to cool down sometime. So everything in the world, if it gets agitated, is going to settle down. But there's the five elements which have become impure are going to settle down. Nature will take its course to come back to its normal state, even if we human beings disturb it. So. What we see as destruction, the tsunamis, the earthquakes and all, they are not actually destruction. They are trying to come back to their normal state, which they were. And what we have done is we have disturbed them. So they want to come back to the normal state. So we might see it as something which is distressful, right? But God says there's Kalyan in that. There's benevolence in that too. So there is benefit is merged in any loss. So in any loss, there is benefit merged. Now, when you have the Father's company and hand, there cannot be any loss. First of all, God has given us the first immortal truth that I am a soul, you are a soul, nobody dies. So if somebody, we say somebody died in an earthquake, they did not die. They paid back for the karma, they left their body and now they are going to get into the next body. So the soul never died. What we are looking at, the body died, right? Body is dead, the matter is dead, but the being is not dead, is being the soul has left the body is going to go the same mind same intellect same habits in the next life with new parents new name maybe new city maybe new country maybe new language maybe new religion everything will change nothing will remain the same <clears throat> so when you have the father's company got the father's company and hand there cannot be any loss physical loss might be there but spiritual loss, the learning from that, strength from that, because nothing over here which I see through my eyes and what you are seeing through your eyes is going to be yours forever and it is not yours. God has told us and asked us to become a trustee. If you have been listening to previous Vardhans, He has asked us to become a trustee, live like a trustee and never have the ego of any ownership in this world. Things will exchange hands. Nothing is mine, nothing is yours. So Baba says, stay seated on the seat of your self-respect and you will not be distressed. I am a soul, God's child and nothing is mine, just my thoughts, my words, my habits are mine which are going to go along with me back up and to the next life too. And nothing of this physical world which I think of my, my, my or I feel sad about losing is going to be with me forever. So Baba says, stay seated on the seat of your self-respect and you will not be distressed. The seat of a detached observer, you're observing, you're sitting along with God the Father up there, like in meditation, and you're observing your own drama. 
the seat of a detached observer finish the finishes the word distress so stress comes from what from somebody else's reaction to you somebody else's way of treating you but that is theirs but what is your state of mind is your own so baba says and so become trikal darshi and promise that you will not get distressed or cause others distress when we get distressed that's the time we give stress to others if i am in the state of complete peace i will only reflect peace back to you and others and so will you so how to become trikal darshi that is what we learn how how to know what you were in your previous birth what you were doing and what you are supposed to do now and what you going to do in the next birth and how to prepare for that is all taught in brahma kumaris it's the lesson for the coming life how to prepare for the next life that's what we learn in brahma kumaris so if you have any comments if you have any questions do leave them in the comment box down below and if you like this do share it with others if it's going to help somebody else i'm sure it's going to and stay safe stay home stay protected do well in life om shanti